Mama, there it is. No. They're all looking at it. They're just pondering it. There's so much room. Put is it all, on. They're, all, they're gonna get it in. Dude, they might put it on right here. I think they're considering. He's grabbing it. I oh, know he's looking at tags. They're tripping on it for sure. They're considering us smashing that thing in there. Just run down there real quick and be like, come on. Can I tell the, the buddy? The fellow? Yeah, tell him. Put him on. Put him on. Put them them on. This is a disaster. Mark on web. Come on, are you serious, buddy? This is next level. Chef Zorg, what do we got today? We got steak, eggs, cheese. Steak, eggs, and cheese. Nutrient dense foods. Kieran, what boards did you bring? <laughs> no boards. I don't know, but Zorg told me he always carries a tripod. <laughs> no Everywhere boards. he goes, he's carrying one right now. No tripod. <laughs> Just the tripod head. Boards again. Our boards didn't show up for the third trip. Third, third trip of the year. We made it to these islands off of Portugal. Me and Kieran had some trouble checking in our boards. Boards didn't show up. Called some of the local um, surfers down here on the islands, and they managed to find us some boards. And so we're gonna surf regardless. If our board bags show up or not, we're definitely going to be able to surf because Kieran met a dude named Andre, right? Andre. Andre the legend got us some equipment. So we're yet again on borrowed boards and we'll be testing them for the first time at what is probably going to be a mutant slab. So good board testing, um, good board testing location. <laughs> What's it when the fire starts to burn? Burn? <laughs> you know that song? <laughs> this tastes um, like a souped up Red Bull. I can oh. smell it from here. Our new Azorian energy drink sponsor, <laughs> Double Power. <laughs> Does it taste good though? I can't understand the taste. <laughs> Doesn't make sense. Okay, so Kieran, our translator, really did his best to get our boards on the flight today. But people hate surfboard bags and they don't want to put them on planes. It's a thing. It's a pet peeve of airline workers. They hate putting boards on planes. They just don't want them. They want you to bring them because they'll charge you for them, but they won't put them on planes. So, I'm told they were on the plane last night, not on the plane. Delaying this morning, not on the plane, but maybe tonight. So. We're hooking up with this guy, Andre, and he's gonna give us two boards to try or use for the day. So we'll be testing new blades at another slab. Oh, I meant to do it. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. The right one for me is gonna be the best. Pretty chippy. Oh, <laughs> the volume. It's a 5.8. Yeah. It's, it's small. Chippy, yeah. Uh. There's a lot of reports that I'm gonna come make them, okay? Because a lot of when what? You report oh. and photographers <laughs> and guys we drawn because everyone. You? Is this okay? It's better than nothing. <laughs> yeah. We got a tripod. <laughs> yeah, it's the only one that I have. I'm yeah. sorry. No worries. One of these. Okay. Just thank you. This is what I had to use in Namibia too. Oh. I have three days no <laughs> yeah. tripod. Today it's a messy day for me because I have a. I work in the. Hey, what's up? Need a bomb. Oh, that's the right. Yeah. Oh my gosh. 
Yeah, this is a uh, wooden board <laughs> made in the Seder. Yeah. Oh, it's heavy. Yeah. It's yes. all, it's uh, <laughs> no foam inside. Yeah, it's no all foam. wood. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Holy it's stuff. a town win, almost. Wow, that's <laughs> sick. Did you make it? Not who me. The, the guy yeah. who taught me how to surf made it. Wow. Take and that thing out. <laughs> nah, it's, made, it's made from wood from here. Yeah. 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 Skip the man. Only wood. Only wood. This is strong. Yeah. Wouldn't feel very good yeah. if you got hit by it. <laughs> 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 Break your heart. Get hit by a tree. <laughs> okay, so Andre, this wave, you've been here your whole life and and surfing this spot and at some point they tried to destroy the wave with this wall. Yeah, they when they just start to building the arbor, they just put all these rocks to protect this interior. There is a very huge deposit of fuel. So at the time, the local community just come together and try to protect this fantastic wave, world-class yeah, wave. And you can see the rocks just stop over here. Yeah. So it's it was a huge fight. That's why we have this program. It's, and that's your shirt. Yeah, it's Save Azores Wave. It's trying to protect all the wave in Azores. Because two years ago, we just lost another wave. Really? Yeah, another wave, sorry, with the construction Damn. of some protection. And what we are trying to do, it's to protect not just these waves, but all the waves in the Azores. So trying to figure out like a big and huge active to this uh, archipelago, so yeah, for tourism and of course for protect the biodiversity of them. Yeah, well, good work. Thank you. We're, we're stoked uh, to be here, and thank you for having us. Thank you for thank you and welcome. You are very welcome <laughs> to come here to surf with these big bombs. Thank you. <laughs> you. some form of control still, making our constant binary choices and voicing our equally shallow opinions more loudly or quietly. Most people can't even decide what color to wear or which burger to eat. What the does it matter, man? Autonomy is an illusion. decide what color to wear or which burger to eat. What the does it matter, man? Autonomy is an illusion.
doesn't matter, man. Autonomy is an illusion. Autonomy is an illusion. decide what color to wear or which burger to eat. What the f does it matter, man? Autonomy is an illusion. You guys aren't that cute. Glad I didn't yeah. go right in for the looks cut. pissed. No, Nate. I think I almost took my arm off. <laughs> Look, it's drooling. John, get under there. <laughs> get some of that leche. <laughs> When they got the babies, they might be super protective. Yeah. Things could get weird. Things could get weird. Things could get weird. It's a bad dog. <laughs> that dog does not like me. No, it's not. It's like a yellow dog. He looks so psyched. He looks like a dog. Oh, fuck. He's oh. growling, bro. We, when we sent and conquered on our new blades, untested, then we now tested them. And we saw like literally eight different sides of the wave, meaning kind of paddle out and it was small and on the inside ledge, it was super hard to get them. And then we were having trouble. I don't think we caught a wave for the first 45 minutes. And then it like changed with the tide and like we caught a few and definitely like, we were just stoked to have boards because we could surf at all. So that was that. We got lucky with that. And thanks to Andre and the local Azores boys 
came down and they were just psyching on the beach and bringing good energy and we got boards to even ride. But they were definitely like a little thick on the rail so it was like hard to make certain bottom turns. It starts bombing, tide drops, we go to the outside ledge, it starts doing this crazy thing where it like rolling in and then hitting this ledge. Next thing you know, I get this one, I stand up, I look down the line, I'm like, oh my gosh, like, like I had gotten towed on a ski, just perfect rolling, bowl down the line, and just a stand-up barrel, like, in the Azores. Look at that. You go, mission, do new things, try new waves. That's the best thing about these trips, It's just the surprise or the what are you going to find, and sometimes you don't score, sometimes you do. Whoa. Some fresh Azorian milk, some calves being fed, and so we scored. Another score. Slap tour stopped like, I don't know, we'll have to check what stop this is. Here's our dear friend Kieran. And he's changed his shoes. Embarrassed after our YouTube, so guys, take it easy on Kieran. And then he got a roll in. After, right after, he's like, how was it? I'm like, you have no idea that it rolled into this bowl. And then he got one like, literally five minutes later. And then it turned off, we came to the inside ledge. And unfortunately I forgot all of this was one big one. I went and tried to pull and I got lipped straight in the head and I lost the GoPro. So you guys will not see any GoPro footage in this edit or you will have not seen it in the surf part. The reason is, even though you've seen them out, I got, haven't lost a GoPro in two years. And that GoPro I was bummed to lose because that thing went through like Mulligmore, Island, Tahiti, Porto, Jaws. Like that GoPro survived a lot of heavy sessions. And then here, the lip smacked down on my head so hard I got like stunned for a second. And I just felt it like come out and tumble down my chest. And I was like, oh. And then I got on the outside, I pushed all the way to the bottom, on my back on the bottom. And I was like, for some reason, I thought I had flotation on because it was felt like a bigger wave out there and then I was like, wait, you're just in your wetsuit, that's your belly you're feeling. <laughs> so I swam back to the surface. Humans need air, I guess. It's a new thing. That's it. We're just gonna go check some other waves and get some food. <laughs> Oh, my God.